What is going on, guys? Figure Boys are back with another video, and today we have a um, figure draft for you guys. Um, it's going to be a draft for our brands. I know we did one about five, I think months, five ago. months ago. Yeah, five months ago. Uh, but yeah, um, we're gonna do another one today. Um, we're gonna think every five months now. We're gonna do it for Clash and Blackout. You know, I do Blackout. Sam does Clash. We don't upload as often, but. If you guys really want to go see some banger videos, um, go check out our Survivor Series matches. They were really good. A lot of people liked them, so go check them out if you haven't. But um, we're going to do our draft, and these are the people that are going to be on our roster. So you guys have to have been watching Clash or Blackout to know what we're talking about. So, um, yeah. So, But if you are watching this video and haven't watched Clash or Blackout, um, go click off this video and go check out that stuff first and then come back and watch this. Um, but yeah, we're gonna um, go ahead and start into it again. If you don't want to hear any spoilers about it, go check out the videos and then check back on this video. So I'm gonna start with my first draft pick. I'm going to start with the Blackout Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns. Um, I feel that you can't take the champion off the show. So I'm gonna go with Roman as my number one pick. Um, Sam, you can go ahead and pick your number one. Hi, my number one, you can see me in this little black square, or not the black square, but the little square above Carter's face right there. Um, I'm going to go with um, the Figure Boys champion, uh, Randy Orton. You can't really tell because, you know, quality is kind of bad, but Randy Orton, yeah, that's my first pick. So I'm going to throw him into the ring. All right, my number two pick, I'm going to pick Daniel Cormier from Clash. Um. I think that I could do pretty good with him. Maybe form a tag team with Conor McGregor. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, that's what we're going to do with Cormier. Um, so, I didn't really bury Cormier, but I didn't use him that much. So, I mean, he, it's sad losing um, such a good addition to Clash. But, hopefully, Carter does uh, books Cormier really well. But, um, so, my second pick, I'm going to steal somebody from Blackout. I'm going to go with uh, Seth Rollins. Right here. Um, I don't know if I'll make him the Messiah or make make him like Beast Slayer or something, but definitely gonna I'll take Seth Rollins. Maybe you could book him pretty well. But there goes your United States champion. <laughs> so yeah, pretty upsetting. Find a brand new United States champion. Um, but yeah, I think uh, there's some guys on my roster that I draft I think would fit really good in the U.S. title picture. But uh, yeah, uh, my number three pick. I'm gonna go ahead and pick the challenger, the next challenger for Roman Reigns. Um, Adam Cole, I think uh, the challenger needs to stay and fight Roman, and then uh, we'll see what happens after that. So maybe he can get put in the U.S. title picture. That'd be kind of cool to see. Um, but, yeah, go ahead and say your number three. All right, my number three, I'm stealing somebody from Blackout again. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Brock Lesnar. I don't have an updated one. Hopefully I get the Ultimate Edition for Christmas. But, uh, yeah, I'm going with Brock Lesnar. Hopefully he's a good addition to Clash. Nice pick. Um, next, I'm going to take the former Figure Boys champion, John Moxley. Um, I think he'd be a great addition to uh, Blackout. He would be, I would use him really good. Maybe put him against Roman or put him in the U.S. title picture. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I think Moxley would be great to the brand. So the thing is, is that he's actually um, injured, but I think that he faked his injury just to go to Blackout. Like he did something, you know what I'm saying? Or, like, he, he, he might have made a deal with you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, uh, he's injured, but apparently, so, yeah, probably going to be a good addition to uh, Blackout. But my next pick, stealing somebody from Blackout again, um, going with uh, Finn Balor. I don't know if I'll make him the prince or not, but uh, I'll make him good, I guess. I mean, he's not going to be no jobber or anything like that, so. Yep, Finn Balor. All right, go ahead and make, make your next pick. Um, next, I'm hoping for Christmas that I get the Elite 79 Daniel Bryan, so that's why I am drafting Daniel Bryan as my number five. Um, he's getting buried really bad right now in WWE, so I think that um, putting him against Roman Reigns would be really good. Um, great feud. Um, that would be fantastic. So I'm drafting Daniel Bryan to Blackout. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so stealing somebody from Clash. I see, I see. Just kidding. Um, I'm going to steal another person from Blackout. We're going to take uh, good old Kevin Owens. Yep, uh, I just made a match with uh, uh, him. I cannot say who else. It was a tag team match, that's all I'm saying. But yeah, uh, he did not get... Oh, I mean, can't really spoil anything, so that's all I'm going to say. 
So go ahead, Carter. All right, next number six, I'm going to pick um, the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre. Um, he's gotten a lot of opportunities, but he hasn't won any. So hopefully I can uh, push him up in the roster now and uh, maybe his second time around getting drafted, we'll do something good with him. That's great. Um, I'm going to steal one more person from Blackout. Who knows? I might steal more, but I'm going to take Triple H. Um, I'm thinking about bringing back the authority, actually. Um, that's why I chose Seth Rollins, actually. I don't know why I said I would make him the Messiah or anything, but I am going to make the authority. So hopefully I get better, uh, more picks uh, from the people from the authority. So I'm going to add like Randy Orton, Triple H, Seth Rollins, and who knows um, if I pick any more people from the authority. Let's see. Go ahead and choose your next pick. All right, number seven, sadly, breaking up D-Generation X. I'm going to pick the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Um, you know, I just got his Ghostbusters Elite this year, so I think uh, it's a nice figure. So I think him uh, on Blackout would be really cool. Um, but, yeah, it would be really cool to have Shawn Michaels. Our, oh, by the way, our next um, draft will be in April of 2021. But, um, yeah. My next pick, he's staying on Clash. We're gonna go with the Demon Kane. So yeah. Nice. Haven't Great really pick. used them yet, but hopefully I could use them. Maybe um Brothers of Destruction or something. But uh go ahead and make your next pick. Alright, number eight, I'm gonna uh pick a guy that I think would be really good in the US title picture. Uh Jeff Hardy. I think it would be really cool to have him in the US title picture. Um you see he did do pretty decent the Royal Rumble scoring. Um, I think one or two eliminations. So he did pretty good. That's more elim- That's the most eliminations in that rumble. Um, but yeah, he did pretty decent in that rumble, um, being number two. So yeah, Jeff Hardy. Oh, by the way, that's guys, I forgot to say. Um, I'm. I don't know about Carter. I haven't told him yet, but uh, I'm actually. Uh, Money in the Bank is coming up actually. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a Money in the Bank. Um, it's gonna be. Tor- uh, the number one contendership for the, the Figure Boys Championship. And um, it's up to Carter if he wants to do Money in the Bank as well, but I'm going to be doing a Money in the Bank soon, and it's coming up, so don't forget to miss into that. So tune in, and uh, it's my pick, right? Um, Yes, it is. Number eight. You picked Jeff Hardy, right? I picked Jeff Hardy. Okay, so I'm going to go with uh, the brand new Elite 79 collector's edition undertaker um maybe bring back the uh the i almost said authors of pain for some reason um the brothers of destruction who knows might have a single run with him i don't know but um oh as you saw undertaker did attack to the the figure boys champion randy orton so who knows where that might go might lead into money in the bank or something who knows go ahead carter great pick um next number nine i'm gonna steal a guy from blackout and i did have Blackout, see like from Clash, um, but yeah, um, I've used them. If you guys are like way like, if you guys have watched Clash, like the very first episode, you know who I'm talking about. I've used them before. Oh my! Against Roman Reigns, but Sam had him for a little while. But I think I could really use him this time, and I'm gonna pick um, Goldberg. I think oh. he'd be great. Um, Goldberg, maybe put him against Roman Reigns again. That would be because the last match was not that good. Um, so I think I'm going to remodify it and do that match again. I think it'd be really good. Um, go ahead and pick your number nine. Um, let me add on to that real quick. Um, well, actually, let me, uh, pick my next pick. I'm going to go with, uh, um, what's his name? Ricochet. Uh, he's been on the brand. He's been former Intercontinental Champion before and, uh, maybe do something. Definitely not going to be a jobber like he is in WWE right now, but, uh, do something good with him but as i was saying with goldberg um he was the figure boys champion but then lost it to the fiend at the fatal four-way winner take all at survivor series so um hopefully um carter does something good with goldberg so take your next pick i think this is number 10 for you yep um number 10 i'm gonna pick the phenomenal aj styles former u.s champion maybe he can get it back um since rollins is gone so um, I think next Blackout episode, I'm probably going to have Rollins relinquish the title, and that's why he'll go over to Clash. Um, but, yeah, I think it would be uh, good for AJ maybe to get the title back. He had a pretty good run. Um, but, yeah, AJ Styles, phenomenal one for number 10 for me. 
All right, one more question for uh, Carter. Um, are you um going to be? Are we going to be doing like uh weekly episodes of like? Because I remember our schedule used to be um every Monday morning for blackout and every Saturday night for clash. Is that still gonna work like that, or are we gonna change the dates? I can't guarantee it, anything. Um, it is really busy right now. Um, because we do a lot of pay per view predictions and we do a lot of setups and we do and pay-per-view prediction matches take a while like mm-hmm. they take a while um just to let you guys know if you guys are watching this i think a couple days for survivor series um, me and sam actually did a couple survivor series matches today so uh i'm gonna finish mine up and uh sam's already got one posted on the channel go check it out sammy Zayn versus bobby lashley um, go check that match out. It's a really killer match, and I'm working on Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns. And you so should... I'm going to that out and look for that on Saturday. Yep, Saturday. Uh, but, yeah, that's that's pretty much the question. I don't know. It takes a, a little while to do things, um, but definitely, like, as much as we can. All right, my number 10 pick is uh, Mustafa Ali. Definitely not going to be with Retribution. Don't I hate Retribution. But, yeah, we're going to go with Ali. Definitely not going to be with Retribution, but maybe pair him up with Ricochet, may, make a good uh, tag title run. Who knows? But even push him maybe for the Intercontinental Championship? Who knows? So go ahead and make your 11th pick. All right, number 11, I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, Matt Riddle. Um, he's not going to be Riddle. I hate that name. I don't know why WWE did it. It's a horrible name. Why can't you just leave <laughs> Matt Riddle? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Matt Riddle. Um, you guys seen him make his debut in the Royal Rumble. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and stick with Matt Riddle, and uh, we'll see what we can do with him. All right. Um, my number eleven is going to be the former Intercontinental Champion and the Figureweight Champion, the Fiend Bray Wyatt. So um, I don't know who he's going to attack next. Who knows? But people are gonna definitely be challenging him for the Figureweight Championship. He just lost the the Intercontinental Championship to um, Kenny Omega, so hopefully Kenny Omega does not get drafted by Carter, knowing that he doesn't have him. So hopefully he'll be drafted by me. <laughs> All, right. All right, so my next pick, I'm going to pick my newest elite to my collection. Um, I'm, I'm, I know I should have drafted him, and I'm going to put him to good use. I'm going to pick Braun Strowman. Uh, I just okay. got his new elite, so I think it looks really good, and see what we can do with him on Blackout. All right, um, that was a great pick, by the way. Um, I'm surprised he didn't get picked earlier, but no judging, no judging. Um, my next pick is going to be somebody who's part-time, nobody, n- never wrestles, haven't wrestled since uh, the uh, Firefly Funhouse match of last year. Or not last year, of uh, last year's WrestleMania 36. We got John Cena. Um, he's, gonna, he's not going to have a huge push because he's already had 16 title runs in WWE. So he's definitely not going to be the biggest star, but he'll he'll be pretty big still. He won't be huge, but he'll be. Um, unless I do get the Ultimate Edition, and then he'll have a good run. But until then, um, my this is my newest Elite WWE John Cena figure. As you guys know, I lost my the first ever long hair Elite John Cena that came out. I lost him. I have no clue where he went. So this is my up the most updated one that came out in 2014, which is kind of bad. <laughs> so go ahead, nice. Curtis. Um, next, I'm going to pick um, Kofi Kingston. Um, I think he's going to be brand new to the brand. Um, never been drafted by any of us, but I think it'd be really cool to put him in the U.S. title picture. It'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with Kofi. Nice. Um, my next pick is going to be Elias. Oh, I need a jobber on my brand. Um, I, I mean, he's not gonna be a jobber, but he did get paired up with somebody. Um, like I said, I cannot say who, but he is in an upcoming match this Saturday. Tune in for this Saturday on Clash. It's gonna be the Clash right, the Saturday Clash right before, um, Money in the Bank. And Money in the Bank is probably gonna go up on a Tuesday. Who knows? But I need to record it still. Haven't made any matches for that yet, but. Um, let us know in the comments, uh, what matches we should do with our new roster. All right, next, I'm going to pick Conor McGregor. Um, I think he did pretty good eliminating Brock Lesnar from Royal Rumble. 
Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Conor McGregor. Um, maybe team him up with Cormier, make a tag division. I think it'd be really cool. But yeah, I'm gonna go with Conor McGregor. Nice. Um. Oh wait, yeah, he'd go pretty good with uh, Cormier as well. So, good thing you have two uh, UFC fighters on your brand. Um. Also, I'm going with the Street Profits. Need to build up my tag team. Um. Thing, cause you know, back in our uh, late or early channel days, um, we have not really done tag team matches on our brands. So, building up my tag brand or my tag division. So, go ahead, Carter. All right. Next, I'm gonna pick the master of the six one nine Ray Mysterio. Um, again, he's a guy that has gotten a lot of opportunities, but he hasn't done very good. So I think making Ray in the U.S. title picture as well, he had a lot of guys playing in the U.S. title picture would be great. Maybe him and Jeff Hardy would be a great match. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go with Ray Mysterio. Nice. Um, my next pick, um, I don't know, but, uh, since you took Ray, sadly, I wish I would have had him on my brand, but I'm going with Eddie Guerrero. Um... I, he, he's, uh, one of my newest figures, I would say. My newest figure is Undertaker, but I think my recent figure before Undertaker was Eddie Guerrero and Paul Orndorff, which I made, um, him into Lars Sullivan, so, got Eddie Guerrero. Nice. Um, next, I am going to pick a guy that you just brought up, Lars Sullivan. Um, I made a custom of Lars as well. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pick Lars Sullivan and see what we can do with him. Nice, nice. Um, so my next pick is going to be another jobber. Um, somebody that I beat last Clash episode. Um, I'm going with Dolph Ziggler, by the way. Oh, by the way, I have this new setup. Sorry, Carter, it's not in there. But uh, it's over there. It's not. It, it fell over. I got a new announce table, and I put myself in the commentary chair because you know I commentary on every video. So yeah, go ahead and t pick your next pick. All right, next. I'm pretty sure it's actually your pick. Oh, is it my pick? Yeah. I just picked Dolph Ziggler. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Um, I'm going to go with Shinsuke Nakamura. Nice. King is style. Um, yeah, see what we can do with him? I don't know. Maybe something in store. But it's Shinsuke. Nice. Um, like I said for my next pick, I am building up the authority again. I am bringing... Rusev back with the long hair, and he's going to be on the authority. Oh, like I, uh, like I said, how I was bringing up the authority, Kane's going to be on the authority. There's not going to be a Brothers of Destruction unless the authority breaks up. Nice. Next, I'm going to go with uh, Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Um, again, we'll see what we can do with them. Um, again, I don't know what we got in store for him. But I'm sure he'll fit into the card and be a valuable asset to the show. Nice. All right, bringing up my tag team again, my tag team division. I'm going with Miz and Morrison, brand new Morrison custom. Put the robe on with the Ultimate Warrior um, things at the bottoms of the boots. So, yeah, Miz and Morrison. All right, next I'm going to go with the King, King Corbin. Um, again, custom. Um... I think he'll do pretty good. I need a jobber, so I think King Corbin would be the guy. All right, my next pick is going to be Cody. Don't know what I have in store for him yet, but uh, see your next pick. All right, next I'm going to go with a guy that would be a good singles competitor and a good tag competitor. Um, I'm going to go with Cesaro. Um, maybe bring that back to bar with Sheamus or have Cesaro and Shinsuke team up. So, That's actually a great idea. Great uh, tag um, opportunities right there. But, yeah, go ahead and pick your number 20. Building up the authority again. I'm bringing uh, Big Show into the brand. Oops, missed. There we go. <laughs> nice pick. Um, next, I'm making another custom. We're going to put uh, Dominic, Dominic Mysterio, on the brand. Maybe put him with Ray. Maybe a tag title opportunity right there. But... I think it would be pretty cool to pair them up or maybe give Dominic a singles run. Who knows? Nice. All right, my next pick is going to be custom Sami Zayn. Put the John Cena um, attire on, the black attire. It came in a battle pack with CM Punk. hope you guys like that. I don't know. You guys say, oh, yeah, if you guys seen the uh, Survivor Series match against Bobby Lashley and Sami Zayn, um, you'll probably see that. But if you didn't, there you go. <laughs> 
All right, next I'm going to pick another jobber, R-Truth. Um, my brand new Elite 78 looks really good. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go with R-Truth. I need another jobber. So, R-Truth, I think, would be the guy. All right, my next pick is the Intercontinental Champion, Kenny Omega. I have no clue what I have in store for him yet, but maybe put an Ali against him. I don't know. Well, no, I don't want two faces going against each other, so I don't know yet. I have to see. All right, next, I'm going to pick the limitless Keith Lee. I think Keith Lee would be a great asset to the show. Maybe have him fight against Roman Reigns. They had a, a fantastic match this time last year at Survivor Series, so they, had, they did fantastic. Um, of course, Roman beat him, but we'll see what happens if Keith Lee can beat him on Blackout. All right, my third to last pick is going to be another tag team, and that is going to be the Usos. I have no clue what I'm going to do with them. Maybe put them against, uh, I don't even know, to be honest. Miz and Morrison. Yeah, Miz and Morrison. That'd be a great idea. Thanks for the That'd idea. All right. Next, um, second to last pick, I'm going to pick Kurt Angle, the Olympic gold medalist. Um, I don't know if I'll trade him as a job or I don't know what I'm going to do with him. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with him. All right. My next pick is going to be... Chris Jericho, Y2J, well, not an AEW, but... <laughs> Le Champion. Le Champion. Yeah, Chris Jericho. I have a video that has not been posted yet, yet, I'm talking. Um, It's going to be out this Saturday, like I said, and it's going to be um something with him in it. So, yeah. All right, my final pick um, in the Figure Boys draft, I'm going to pick the Undisputed Era. Um, if Adam Cole is going to be there, the Undisputed Era has to be there. So that way they're still on blackout again. So I'm going to go with the Undisputed Era as my last pick. All right, my last pick, since you're going trios, trio tag team, I'm pretty sure you guys already know since I said trio tag team, the people who got dusted in Survivor Series on our Survivor Series. Um, I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> we got the Nexus. Man, they called out... Undisputed Era too, and they still got dusted, man. I'm I'm That's so upset. Undisputed Era is getting drafted to blackout. <laughs> All right. Um. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um. Um. Thank you guys for staying till the end. It's been a very long video, I'm sure. Um. Twenty two minutes. These are the draft picks. So if you guys are wondering, like, who's on the brand? Like, what are they gonna do with the next opponent? This is the video. So mark them down. Um. All the draft picks. And yeah, hopefully. Uh, We'll get some more content up for you guys and get some more Blackout and Clash episodes. Sammy, got anything to say? Um, I got, a, oh, my voice cracked. Um, I got a few things to say. Um, so one is let us know in the comments down below what feuds we should do. Um, give us a little idea of what we should do because, uh, some things we don't know and some things we do know for sure. Also, yeah, most of the people we drafted, we don't know what we're doing about. Yeah, and I, um, I'm also going to be trying to do daily uploads i don't know about carter but let us know in the comments down below what um I'm gonna try yeah i'm gonna like just let us know what we should do so yeah hey all right i'm pretty sure that wraps this video up yeah again, hope you guys enjoyed this video um subscribe to the channel if you're new um again as sam said comment down below what feuds you guys want to see on the brands and uh we'll see you again next time figure boys are out. out. See you guys. See ya.